You've just invested in oil, wood and floor and now you need to service, repair or maintain your investment. This is the vlog for you. Here we are in sunny Cape Town or partly sunny. It's a little bit of a stiff onshore breeze. But uh, we're meeting up with Village Timber Company, Joe Brom and his crew on a job site down there somewhere. And uh, we're going to go through the process and explain a little bit more. going in the background, what's happening today? Joe. Well, we, we, <laughs> we're here just about to hand over a house yeah. and sort of giving it the last spit and polish. So you installed these floors some time ago and there's been a whole lot of other trades and... Quite a while ago. Quite a fact, while ago. Sort of like a year ago. Okay, that's, a, so that's really intense. It's really long, so we do, which is not ideal, but we've yeah. had to keep it under cover and there's been a lot of work happening on top of it. So because of that, we, the floors actually get quite dull. Yeah. So this is now just an opportunity to, to sort of jumpstart that maintenance. Fantastic. Okay, so um, this floor was covered up. You have a special paper that protects it during that actual uh, other intense trade kind of uh, time period, which majority of that year, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. Now we're going to they clean the floor uh, with the, your microfiber, they're polishing the floor with the oil to saturate and just really bring it back up to yeah. Just, just pull all the color up and we look towards it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've oiled. You'll see the color just coming out of the timber. But it also protects the timber, so it just means any product fluids, especially dropped onto the floor, aren't going to get sucked in by the timber. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, see, we see that like quite a lot in the industry where guys are getting these like one off oil floors and they're kind of like, here's your floor, install it or float it, and they rush out the door. And yeah. then floors are failing left, right, and center because actually that's that's like a child that needs care and maintenance and like. You know, all, all those lovely processes. Oh, absolutely, just like your skin or your hair, you've got yep. to condition the timber. It's a natural product and it's just going to get damaged if it doesn't have enough oil in it. And so this is also a process that we, depending on the floor, a couple of years down the line or months down the line, this will be an ongoing process that you come back, you offer these services. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we call this the annual maintenance. Annual maintenance, so and, every 12 months. Well, that's the ideal. I think a lot of our clients, we find we can stretch it, but certainly no more than three years. After that, the timber starts becoming dry. Yeah. The oak wear layer tends to shrink a little bit. That causes cracks into the, in the oak. Okay, yeah. And, then, and especially a lot of, like we're standing here in the kitchen, a lot of fatty product drops onto that floor and it just gets sucked in and you get a mark that you can't get out. So, I've seen that quite a few times where people are like, they're frying the eggs and bacon and go dun, 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 and life happens and you find like a little bit of like an oily zone in front of the stove. Yeah. So if you had correctly maintained your floor, you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't get that kind of damage occurring to your floor. Absolutely. I mean, it just gives you the time to lean down, wipe it up, no problem. Whereas if it's a dry piece of timber, it's just going to suck that in. It sucks that in. And that's where you see those dots all over the place, or that walked in zone. It's a sure sign of your floor desperately needing some oil. <laughs> it's like, save me! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, red wine, just like fruit juice, coke, mm -hmm. anything with sugar in, just suck it Sugar? Sugar. Oh, it's a terrible one. No, sugar, it's not good for the body, it's not good for the floor. <laughs> Absolutely. Better though for the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got a bit of a habit. Okay, you offer a couple of different services. This is one of your services. Yeah. What other services in this kind of category of maintenance and remedial do you offer? Yeah, so I think if we if we stepped it up, yeah. because it's all about the intensity. So this is this is a low intensity service. And this would be assuming everything is fine, this is the type of service we do. If the builder had accidentally dropped a lot of cement on this floor, for yeah. example, or thinners, or any really difficult product to get off, yeah. this sort of service wouldn't be good enough. Okay. Then we'd have to bring in a, a substantially, um, 
it's a more aggressive cleaning method. Yes. And that's normally done with an automatic scrubbing machine and mm. some chemicals. Okay. Uh, bond a deep clean. Yep. Um, and that really can lift a lot of serious amounts of, of mud out of your floor. So if a floor has been abused, you would potentially, like, this is just a maintenance program, you would step it up to that bond a scrubber system. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So if there was, if there had been a, a geezer burst, for example, or let's say, on a heavy mud trips through the house. I don't know. A uh, landslide. A landslide, a neighbor with a steak knife coming out <laughs> yeah, here. Any one of those sort of wait, much wait, more, wait. let's say, much more dirt infested floors. Yeah. All floors that have been left for years. We Abandoned. Have, we sometimes get floors that nobody's cleaned them for, for 10 years. I had a client just the other day. They mm -hmm. hadn't cleaned them for, for 10 years. I suppose also commercial spaces. Absolutely. Yeah, so commercial spaces, yeah. hotels, downtime schools. Absolutely. Um, BM, Airbnbs, that kind of thing. Perfect. Well, all incorrect things. So some, some of those supermarket products, for example, have a lot of wax in them. And clients stop going at, at the floor, waxing it up. Thinking they're doing the right yeah. thing. And then after a year or two, they realize they just captured dirt in that wax. In that top layer. And yeah. you actually can't see your floor anymore. Then, then the, the scrubbing machine comes into play. And that does a super job. It lifts all that off. Normally, Following that, you have to then start putting oil back in the floor. Yeah. It's just when you strip everything off, you strip any remaining oil out of that floor as well. Okay. So you've got to, got to reapply the oil after. Bringing that natural, lovely characteristic of the floor back to life, and that's what you're investing in. Yeah, 100%. Okay, all right. And then you also have further services where sanding and... Yeah, so then, then you know, you can step it up. And it really depends on what sort of floor you have. But I think, you know, nowadays we're seeing these pre-finished oil floors are going into so many homes and few people know what to do to look after them. Yeah. And the critical difference is really the amount of oil you get in your floor. Okay. And this is something we actually, we, we've learned from our European clients. We seem quite happy to spend the weekend oiling up their floor and they get major benefit from it. And you, like your, your investment, like servicing your vehicle, your investment just extends. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I also, I think like the floors, they gain uh, their natural personality and character over a period of time. Okay. It's not just like you spend so much on, the, on these awesome floors and then you like ripping it out and putting a new one in. Yeah. These floors develop beautiful character. And this is the real point of spending so much money on a, on a franchise floor. Yeah. Is that it's going to develop character and it will look better for it. And I think that's what the oil, that's the missing link if you wish, is the oil does that job. Yeah. The oil is the, is, is the medium that pulls it all together and just sort of helps soften the character into, into something that, that one can appreciate rather than just a hard scratch. <laughs> Let's say some sort of damage to the floor such. Okay. So just getting back to this process that we have in the background, this is like the starting process. You've cleaned the floor, there's a maintenance oil going on top. So this is almost like a team can come in the morning, do these processes, and you can walk on the floor in the evening. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like low invasive. Um, it's actually it's it's like really easy. It's really easy and, and it's, it's so important to do it and it's designed to ensure that it is easy. It's, there's no dust, there's no major noise. It's really simple in that sense. Because people are really scared about an oiling maintenance program. They think it's just like, oh, I can't walk. I've got to be out of the house for a whole weekend or be out of town. Um, so the people can be a little bit maybe uh, uh, apprehensive about engaging. So potentially rather go for a varnish floor versus a oil floor. I think oil floors have so much more character and so much more life. Well. Absolutely. And also the timber develops a beautiful color the longer you leave it. So you know, once it's been down for 10 years, the last thing you want to do is strip all of that off with the sander. You really just want to give it more oil, nurture it, and let that beautiful color come through. So unlike a, a varnish floor, which you actually strip and remove wood, removing your, a percentage of your investment, here we are just maintaining your full wood, wood component. We're just treating that surface, just maintaining the treatment of that surface. Absolutely. And the more we oil it, the, it becomes almost bulletproof. So it's sort of after 10 years of, of good maintenance, yeah. that, that period between oiling can stretch further and further. And that's really then it then start that investment starts coming through. But the, you know these floors are designed to last 25 years, 
So you, you really want to get that 25 years for, for every rand you spend. For sure. And that's that's the way to do it, is, is a proper oil in like this and you're never going to have to send it. So, where, where can we find your services? We are available on villagetimber.com and as well as Facebook and Instagram. The links are below. <laughs> <laughs> YouTuber in the making. Yes. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. I really appreciate your time and troubles. Like, obviously, DTC, it's... Uh, we're that front basket of great craftsmanship here within our territory. Um, you do West and Cape, but you also do outreach for Pacific projects as well. So you travel all yeah, over. Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we love traveling in fact. <laughs> and uh, you find the right job and we'll be there. So it is about you know beautiful jobs that really are looking for craftsmen. Because you're bone craftsmen. That's right. So stamp of approval. <laughs>